everybody and welcome to another week of shout outs we got a lot of new people to add so let's get started sorry if i say your name incorrectly and i probably welcome some of these people already because the names kind of sound familiar but i'm not always 100 percent sure but you know me if i'm not sure it's better to be safe than sorry so here we go chelsea Lions, welcome to the neighborhood. Madeline Cohen, welcome to the neighborhood. Peace, love, and mascara, welcome to the neighborhood. William Fulwell Shyrock Cook. Not sure if I got that right, but welcome to the neighborhood. Crazy Mom, welcome to the neighborhood. Peter DeRoos, DeRose, welcome to the neighborhood. Not sure if I'm going to get this one right. I'm going to say it, then I'm going to spell it. Stornfer, S-T-O-R-N-F-R. -R. Welcome to the neighborhood. Shout out to his channel. He's got a gaming channel. All you gamers, go by and check him out. Stephen War 30. Welcome to the neighborhood. Annie Creasy, welcome to the neighborhood. Thomas Lagasa, welcome to the neighborhood. Greg Sport, welcome to the neighborhood. Claire Louise Irvine, welcome to the neighborhood. Shelter from Wynn, welcome back. We sure as heck missed you. Glad to hear from you. And that's all the welcomes that we have. That was a lot. So thank you all so very much for joining the community. Love to have new members. Okay. Time for some thoughts and prayers, guys. First of all, I'd like to thank you all so very much for all the special thoughts and prayers you guys are sending our way for Monday for Bootsy. Um, may she rest in peace. We do miss her, her very, very much. It was a very hard thing to do. Um, also, thank you very, very much for the thoughts and prayers for my mother. She is home from the hospital. She had a double and has double pneumonia. She's on strict bed rest um, and on oxygen. And, and thank you for the continued prayers for the lone wolf. We are taking it one day at a time at this point. Um, so continued prayers for the lone wolf, as always. Continued prayers for Elijah Mainville, Mom's Blog 80, Drax Shadow. He's up in Seattle, so continued prayers for him. As always, continues prayers for one Proud Mama 77, April and Haley. Yes, we always continue to pray for them as well. And um, oh, thoughts and prayers for Amanda Nichols. She's doing much better than she has been, but she still does her, have her bad days. So... Our thoughts and prayers go out to you, Amanda, and it's good to have you back as well. So, thank you. And, um, again, I've said this in one of the other videos, um, not to beat a dead horse, but I'd like to thank everybody for everything they do for us. Um, your donations do help us tremendously. Uh, EJ Giggy, Miss Mary, Bambi S., but all your thoughts and prayers, everybody in the community, um, your thoughts and prayers do more for us than you can ever imagine as well. So thank you all so very much. Okay, my question from last week was, what was your favorite summer vacation? Where did you go and what made it so good? Okay, Shelter from Wind says, Cuba in January of 2014, nice old cars and tropical weather. Sounds like a really nice place. Life in a Northern Town says Reykjavik, Iceland. I don't know if I said that right. Last summer, sunny 24 hours a day, 65 to 70 degrees. 20th wedding anniversary is why they went. 
and they would love to go back. I'd love to go with you because it sounds gorgeous. Maria Cisnero Toth, three years ago, the entire family went to all the Disneyland parks and or the three Disneyland parks here in California and she hopes that they get to go back soon. Tanya Longley, she was 17 years old. She went to Colorado to visit her sister and her sister's husband. Seven people in a one-bedroom apartment for two weeks. They were people sleeping everywhere, but it was the most fun she ever had. And Terry Johnson, she gave us two of her favorite vacations. The entire family, mom, dad, Bill, brother, sister-in-law, three nephews, all went to Disney World. Special because mom and dad celebrated their 50th wedding anniversary. And then in 2010, everyone except the nephews went to Mount Rushmore, Devil's Tower, Yellowstone, Sundance, Las Vegas, and the Grand Canyon. And that was special because mom always dreamed and wanted to go see Old Faithful. So that's very interesting. I liked all of that. And there's some places there that I've been, some that I haven't been, and I would love to go. My special vacation was in 2005 when Kevin, Megan, and I took a ghosted, haunted vacation. We drove from here up to San Francisco and we stayed at all haunted locations and just did some ghost exploring. And some of that is actually, I don't know if it's on our PIN channel or on our regular channel, ghosted uh, a haunted blast from the past if you guys want to go check that out i am not going to ask weekly questions while i am here in north carolina um things are a little crazy right now i'm taking care of my mother my father and my sister who is really really sick right now as well so i am going to cut that part out and go straight to kevin for his questions and credit roll. Take it away, Kevin. Okay, so last week's question was about the movie Legend of Hell House, 1973, and the question was, who is Emmerich Blasco, and who is his character based on? And the answer is Alistair Crawley, who is a eccentric from the turn of the century, who a lot of people consider to be a, a, a warlock. So, those who got that question correct was Terry Johnson, and Tanya Longley. All right, tonight's question, since it's about graduation time for most high schools and around now, uh, I found a movie called Graduation Day, 1981. A very strange movie, it's, it has Vanna White in it, one of the few appearances outside of uh, that game show that she has done. And uh, the question is, uh, gonna be a difficult one, what, who is the girl, the blonde girl, wearing the number 46 jersey at the beginning of the movie? Um, why does she have no credit in the movie? And why is she sudden, why does her head show up at the end? Yep, so there's your question. And we'll see you next week. You are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you. We love you all so very, very much. We would not be here if it weren't for every single one of you out there. We appreciate everything you guys do for us. Make sure you check out all